the existing international security architecture represented by the UN Security Council continues to hamper efforts to maintain international peace and security. The Council is, by all intents and purposes, dysfunctional, undemocratic, non-inclusive, unaccountable, autocratic, and at, at best, opaque. An institution that excludes 54 African countries with 1.4 billion people, while allowing one nation to veto decisions of the remaining 193 member states in the 21st century is simply unacceptable. We must urgently seek to make the Security Council representative, inclusive, transparent, democratic, effective, and accountable. In Africa, we are not advocating for reform and collective action solely at the UN. In fact, we are also in the process of comprehensively reforming the Africa Union to become a fit-for-purpose institution that can effectively represent African nations globally and deliver prosperity. Excellencies, peace and development are inseparable pillars. One cannot flourish without the other. Yet, the 2024 Sustainable Development Goals report paints a bleak picture. Only 17% of targets are on track. Nearly half show minimal or moderate progress, and over one-third have stalled or regressed. The COVID-19 pandemic, escalating conflicts, geopolitical tensions, and climate change have severely impacted progress towards the SDGs and the Paris Agreement goals. Inadequate and unsustainable means of implementation, particularly in financing, technical support, and capacity building continue to obstruct our efforts to realize the 2030 agenda. Biased methodologies employed by credit rating agencies further disadvantage African countries making it more difficult to access affordable financing from international capital markets. Additionally, unilateral economic, financial, and trade measures not only impede the full achievement of economic and social development, but also undermine the principles of international cooperation, mutual respect, and sovereignty. Let us pause and reflect on the true significance of this predicament. Many countries in the Global South 